Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another clean with me. We're starting off this video with a recipe and then we're going to get into cleaning and at the end of this video I have another recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So let's get started. This is called cheeseburger soup. It's super simple and perfect for the winter time. So you're going to take one pack of bacon, cut it up, put it in your pot, cook it, when that's finished, you're going to remove it and then you're going to add one pound of ground beef. When that's finished, you're going to add your bacon back in along with one fourth cup of flour, two cups of chicken broth, steak seasoning, paprika, two cups of half and half. You're going to add 16 ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. Let everything simmer for a little bit and when the cheese is melted, it's finished. You can top it with your favorite burger toppings like extra cheese, more bacon, onions, pickles, even some croutons, but it was really, really good. I highly recommend this one. Moving on to the next day, I need to do some cleaning in the kitchen and I'm going to start with my air fryer. I need to give it a really good clean without scrubbing it to death because I am scared I might damage it. So let me show you guys what I do. As you can see, I have some things stuck in my air fryer. This was from earlier today and I haven't done this in a while so I definitely need to give it a deep clean. So you're pretty much just going to take some baking soda, sprinkle it in along with some Dawn dish soap and some steaming hot water. This time I'm going to be trying out vinegar in here. Not sure how that's going to work out but I'm going to be trying it out but the three main ingredients is the baking soda, the Dawn dish soap, and hot water. You're going to let that sit for at least 30 minutes, do some other things, and then come back to it and everything should fall right out. I'm also going to clean the inside of my air fryer with my Windex with vinegar. Just going to give it a few good sprays and wipe it down. So it's definitely time for me to wipe down the cabinets and drawers in our kitchen and pantry. I've only done this like one time since we moved in, especially for the amount of times that we cook in the kitchen. All that grease and grime kind of build up a little bit. So I'm going to give it a good wipe down. I'm using my Mrs. Myers and just a regular microfiber cloth.
So this next hack is a really good alternative to the Scrub Daddy Power Paste. So you're going to take some baking soda and some Dawn dish soap and create a paste. You can use this on your appliances. I'm going to use it on my sink, but I thought I would go ahead and show you guys. I've used this a couple times in some older videos. I haven't done it in a while, but I still thought I would share it with you guys. Um, like I said, your dishwasher, your fridge, your oven, your stove, your sink. I like to use it in my sink because I can just easily rinse it out and it makes everything nice and shiny. Tried so hard to let go Writing poetry and rhymes Just to get you off my mind It's either yes or it's no I'm not a yo-yo on a string That you flip and twist and swing I'm not gonna lie tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready and you guys know the drill i have to put a load of laundry in the wash machine at least every other day if not every day so i don't get backed up on laundry i like to separate everything into darks colors and whites and then i just choose the largest load out of the three and put that in the wash machine you don't get everything you like cause i'm not ready if i'm not ready I'm so tired of these late night talks Saying things that we don't mean That we regret in the morning Yeah I just wish we could open up Be a little more honest This is getting exhausting Yeah Can't do one more night of having to sleep on the sofa I just wanna figure it out now before it's over I don't wanna pack my things and be ready to let you go to let you go But maybe it's too late to figure it out To make it through Maybe it can't wait Maybe it's time Maybe we're done I try to pull you closer Cause I don't wanna go yeah, But maybe it's too late To figure it out To make it through Maybe it's too late Maybe it's too late oh. Try to pull you closer Cause I don't For each other and showing you my true colors. Yeah, I don't know why it's difficult. 
So I made these memory boxes for the boys a couple years ago and it's been a lifesaver. I have a folder for every grade in each of their boxes and I like to keep their school pictures, report cards, artwork, things that I know I want to keep forever in there. Use my Cricut to create their names on the front of their box and this also helps with the amount of stuff that you keep and toss because obviously the boxes aren't that big. It helps you to pick and choose the things that you really want to keep. Now that the kitchen is clean, I want to show you guys what it looks like when the kids come home from school. Now obviously they just came back from their last day before Christmas break and they had Christmas parties and and they were just so excited to show me all of their stuff that they got from their parties and I thought it was just so funny because I filmed the entire kitchen being cleaned and it's totally a mess again but it's fine had a hole cut out in the back of their closet when we first moved in and now that's all patched up so I can put their drawers back in their closet and then I'm just gonna put away some of their laundry maybe it's too late maybe it's too late maybe it's too late maybe it's too late everybody's been saying that you're up to no good everyone has been telling me that you got me hood you're playing it big time you're feeding me lies everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties but i would never ever ever would have believed them no reason sometimes the truth is hard to see but now the never ever ever seem to be over I saw her, so I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky so each year the kids get to pick out one ornament each to put on their Christmas tree in their room and they've been doing this for six or seven years along with the ones that they've made in school and now I feel like their Christmas tree is a little small so I might be getting a bigger one next year for their room. These are the ones that they've made this year and I'm finally adding them to the Christmas tree and I just think it's adorable. Sometimes the truth is hard to see But now the never ever ever seem to be over I saw her So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I've won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me so tonight I'm making chicken fried rice. This is something that I always have the right ingredients for, or so I thought, but if you love fried rice, this recipe is for you because not only is it super good, it's really, really simple. I'm using chicken in this recipe, but obviously you can use whatever protein you like. I cubed up close to two pounds of chicken thighs for this recipe, and I'm adding in soy sauce, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and some cornstarch. Mix it all together. And we are gonna be making the chicken semi-crispy this time, so you're gonna put some oil in a pan and cook it maybe three to four minutes on each side until it's brown.
while the chicken is cooking I'm gonna clean as I go I always do this I can't stand having a huge pile of dishes at the end of the night when I'm done cooking comment down below if you like to clean as you go when you're cooking I definitely have to do it and I definitely recommend filling your sink up with some hot soapy water so that you can go ahead and knock all of those pots and pans and mixing bowls out of the way or just anything that doesn't go in the dishwasher Um, so I thought I had peas and carrots in my freezer, but turns out we had corn, carrots, and asparagus. I highly recommend carrots and peas for your fried rice, but I'm going to work with what I have. I definitely didn't plan on putting asparagus and corn in my fried rice, but it turned out really good. <laughs> So here's your last round of ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe you're gonna need some eggs I highly recommend two to three eggs I only had one and then sesame oil browning seasoning which you don't need that one you're gonna need soy sauce and your vegetables when your chicken is finished cooking you're gonna take it out of the pan and set it to the side you're gonna add your frozen vegetables cook that for a few minutes and then you're gonna add in your eggs So once your eggs and vegetables are finished cooking, you're gonna add in maybe two, two and a half cups of rice. I just eyeball it. And then once you add your rice, you're gonna add in your sesame oil, your browning seasoning, soy sauce. I eyeball all of that. And then you're gonna add your chicken back in and you're finished. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.